In this video, we will show you how to replace your inner tie rod end on this Nissan Altima. This is part of your front steering located behind your front wheel. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing we need to do is safely raise and support the front of the vehicle with the suspension hanging. Once you've done that, we'll remove all five of our 21 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. Now that we have the wheel off, we have a clear view of our outer tie rod end and our inner tie rod end making our way towards the bellows boot. Let's start in between the outer and the inner tie rod end. You're going to find a jam nut. Use some long pliers and break this free. Now that we have a little bit of movement from that area, we'll continue on at the outer tie rod end nut. For this tie rod end, typically you will find that you have a locking cotter pin holding the nut in place. We'll remove that and replace it in the end. Use a 19 millimeter to remove your mounting nut. On this application, you will find that you had a washer. We'll take that washer and nut and just start it on just a couple threads here. Once you've done so, it's time to separate the outer tie rod end from the steering knuckle. Commonly to do this, you can go ahead and give it a couple loving bonks with a hammer just to cause some vibration, being careful not to damage the outer tie rod end or boot. Once you have the outer tie rod end separated from the steering knuckle, it's time to start removing it by turning it counterclockwise. We're going to count the amount of turns it takes to remove the outer tie rod end, so when we go to reinstall it, we'll be able to install it the same amount of turns. That was one, two, and so on. I got 13, your results may vary. Next, we'll remove the jam nut from the inner tie rod end. To do that, you want to hold the inner tie rod end with something such as locking pliers and then continue with a 22 millimeter to remove the jam nut completely. We'll set that aside. Now we can start removing the bellows boot from the inner tie rod end and from the power steering rack. It's attached to the inner tie rod end with the forward clamp or the outboard clamp. We'll use some long nose pliers, grab onto each of the three ears, squeeze them together and remove that clamp. If you were to look deep down inside there, you'll see a small ridge that you can grab onto with a pry bar. We'll give it a loving tap to break this free. Let's get this right on that lip. We wanna be careful not to damage the boot or the power steering rack. Let's get that clip out of here. Take hold of that bellows boot. We'll give it a little twist and start pulling it out and away. Now that we have that separated, let's give this a quick check. Make sure it is still soft and pliable and it's not torn, worn, or damaged in any way. We'll clean this up and set it aside. Now we can start removing the inner tie rod end from the power steering rack. There's several tools you can use to remove an inner tie rod end. This is the one that we have. We'll go around this outer portion of the inner tie rod end and start turning this counterclockwise to remove it from the power steering rack. The next thing we'll do is clean and inspect the mounting area where the inner tie rod will go. And then also, if you were to look underneath this shaft, you want to ensure that you see no power steering fluid making its way out of the power steering rack. If you do, the power steering rack seal is bad. This one looks good, so we'll continue. Let's get ready to install that brand new inner tie rod end. We'll put this in place and start it in by hand. Once you feel as though it's bottomed out, let's make sure it's snug using our inner tie rod end tool.
In your kit, you'll find it came with a small grease packet. Tear off a corner and use a glove finger so we can spread the grease inside the joint of the inner tie rod end. This will help lubricate it and prevent moisture from causing an issue in this area. We'll keep a little bit in the packet for our next step. Now we'll take some of that grease and we'll come right along this center area of the tie rod end. This is where that bellows boot will sit. This is going to help the alignment professional in the end. Let's get ready to install our bellows boot. We'll take a wire tie, loop it, and put it around the very end that will go over the power steering rack. Once we have this slid into position, we'll continue on with tightening the wire tie as needed. Just make sure that's nice and tight. We'll continue on with our clamp along the outer portion here. Just go ahead and squeeze those three ears together. Let's continue on with our jam nut. Now, before we put the outer tie rod end, let's use some anti-seize along the threaded area. Now we can get ready to install our outer tie rod end. When we put this in position, we want to make sure we turn it in the same amount of turns it took to remove it. There's one, two, and so on. Let's align the outer tie rod end with the steering knuckle and we'll slide this down into place. Continue on with your washer and your mounting nut. Once you have this snug, torque it to 25 foot-pounds. Continue on with your locking cotter pin. We'll slide that through the stud of the tie rod end and peen it over. Let's make our way back to the jam nut. Get that bottomed out. Double check to make sure this is completely secured up against the outer tie rod end. Okay, let's install our wheel. Start on all five of your 21 millimeter lug nuts. We'll bottom them out and get the wheel back on the ground. With the wheel back on the ground, we'll torque each of these to 83 foot-pounds in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Okay, friend, we've got our vehicle back together. At this point, hop in it, take it for a road test, listen for funny noises, and get yourself safely down to your local alignment shop. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.